assumptions. I was part of a coaching program and there I had access to two master coaches. And one of the coaches said, all beliefs are limiting self-belief. I loved it. I thought I got my money's worth out of it. Not until the other coach told, no, some beliefs are non-limiting. They are actually helpful. And that was the bonus I got out of it. So what happens is when someone says something about someone, that is where the problem starts. Call it the telephone game. We all know the original message over time gets so mangled and transformed that it is painfully funny by the time the message returns to the original person. Such a simple exercise, we all know about it, yet we make life-changing decisions based on assumptions. Basically, what we heard one person say about somebody else, we quickly jump to conclusions and make changes in our lives and our relationships. Often, blood relationships or love relationships, we make assumptions. What kind of assumptions? Negative assumptions. Based on what? Based on fear. Is it real? No, of course not. Imaginative. So we make these negative, fearful assumptions. We believe in those negative, fearful assumptions. And then we hear whatever we want to hear from the filter of the belief that we based on the negative, fearful assumption that we made because we heard one person say something about the second person. Sometimes when we are so wedded to our ideals that we're not willing to compromise, sometimes we have to look at things from the eyes of love, from the eyes of beauty, satyam, shivam, sundaram. So what to do when you hear something being told by someone else about someone else or about yourself? Instead of making that negative assumption, talk to that person directly or visit the location and see it for yourself. Is it true or not? Then make the decision.